Question 11. Now, for question 11, really to get started, you need to recognise that that length is x. You can see that? It's part of the radius. So therefore, that length is 4x. Now let's just think about what the volume of the cone and sphere is. So let's start with the cone. Just substitute in the values that we got. Well, we haven't got values, we've got letters, but it doesn't matter. So we've got one third pi. Now r is x, so we just write x squared. And the height is 4x. Now if I tidy that up, it's just going to be, it'd be 4 over 3 pi x cubed. Now let's think about the sphere as well. Now it's a, well it's not a sphere, it's a, it's a hemisphere. So first thing is it's going to be a half multiplied by 4 thirds pi x cubed x cubed so a half times four thirds is two thirds so let's just chop that down we've got two thirds pi x cubed so the total volume of the solid is just those two things added together and if you look at that that's actually six thirds because this part just here, this is exactly the same. So 4 thirds plus 2 thirds is 6 thirds. 6 thirds is 2. So the whole thing is just going to simply equal 2 pi x cubed. Now let's look at the rest of the question because it tells me something about this cylinder. It says a cylinder has the same volume well we're given some dimensions in letters but so it's got the same volume so therefore it's going to equal so the volume of the cylinder will be pi r squared let's jot that down up here we've got pi r squared multiplied by the height that's the volume of a cylinder so let's just put that information in now i only know the height to be the height I don't actually have any other information about that at the moment and that will then give me pi now it's be careful here because it's 2x squared so that will give me when I get rid of the brackets it give me 4x squared so let's just see where we are now well like okay let's make it life a little bit easier let's divide both sides by pi now where have we got to now let's just tidy up again well we've got so we've got 2x cubed equals our h multiplied by 4x squared so again I can do a little bit of tidying just here I can take out x squared from both sides and I can also divide by 2 on both sides. So that will then give me x equals 2 h. Now, the question said, find a formula for h in terms of x. So I just need to divide both sides by 2. So h equals x over 2. 